Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! Well folks, another week, another episode out of the jank tank, and... I think that something might be up. Are we sure that Alex isn't losing these on purpose? Picking Venominaga feels like an intentional throw. Is this to make me feel better about my bad history record? Is there a Simo spiracy afoot? Anyway, we're still in Teledad format, and these are the decks from the previous wheel that we have not yet played. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. Let's just get rolling for pretty specifically Ubel Calculator and see what happens. Ubeller spaceships, Ubeller spaceships, Ubeller spaceships. Oh, looks like we're going to get one of them. <laughs> okay, that was fast. See you in a sec. Mm, we were so close. We were so close to actually resolving Venominaga and... Like, let's be honest, not really. Like, Joseph had, like, probably the best matchup. We took away the decks for this wheel, and out of everything else here, he couldn't have gotten anything else. He had to get the deck that had four million counter traps to stop a Venominaga getting dropped on him. I was really just hoping that Joseph was just going to regret that he ever lived because we actually got to summon that card on him. But yet, here we are, once again, in the jank tank, doomed to wear it eternally, the way that it seems. I guess we're just not one with the jank yet, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot to learn. If we learned anything in the last episode, it's that Venom suck. Who knew? So, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. We have two spins on the wheel this time, because once again, we are in the jank tank. Joseph can do another spin if he would like, but let's see what we get. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Let's roll with it. This may be as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Behold, the most powerful deck ever conceived by man or machine, Calculator U-Bell. Now, this deck was actually made by Jerome McHale in a June 2008 Metagame.com article. It was designed to beat a field full of Dark Arm Dragon, Gladiator Beasts, and Light Sworn. And I haven't checked any of the results around that period, but I'm sure that it passed swimmingly. The Calculator is a very interesting card. You may remember this from your schoolyard days. It was very popular in my locals, at least. Its attack is equal to the combined levels of all face-up monsters you control times 300. Now, obviously, this gets out of hand pretty much immediately. If you have something as little as a five-star monster on your side of the field, the five from that monster and the two from the calculator means that this is a normal summonable 2100 attack point monster. And that's pretty impressive, but it gets a little more impressive when you pair it with a card like U-Bell. U-Bell has 10 stars and is exceptionally easy to get onto your side of the field. U-Bell plus the calculator equals a 3600 attack point normal summon. Theoretically, it's pretty good, but in practice, it was never really powerful enough to crack into competitive success, and that's because a lot of the surrounding cards, things like Ubel, for instance, are terrible. That said, it makes them perfect for History of Jank. Ubel is a very interesting card as well. This card, the namesake of one of the GX seasons, uh, can't be destroyed by battle. You take no battle damage from battles involving this card, and before damage calculation, when an attack position card is attacked by an opponent's monster, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. Now, during your end phase, you have to tribute another monster, or this card is destroyed, and when this card is destroyed, except by its own effect, you get to tag into a Ubel Terror Incarnate. Uh, this card destroys all monsters at the end of the turn, and tags into to Ubel the Ultimate Nightmare, which functionally wins you the game. Realistically, this is a pipe dream. It's never going to happen, but it's fun to think that it might. 
The way you summon this card is pretty convoluted. You get it into the graveyard using something like a Dark Greffer, a Armageddon Knight, or a Foolish Burial. Then you bring it back with Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman is a card that never really got a day in the spotlight, but looks like it should be very powerful. It's Giga Plant, a Gemini monster that can be normal summoned to reanimate cards from the graveyard, but for fiend types specifically. There are a lot of really powerful fiends, but somehow this card never really cut the mustard. Hopefully here it will perform better. Outside of that, we've got some really funny stuff. Of course, because we're playing stuff like Limit Reverse to reanimate Ubel from the graveyard outside of something like a two-turn Doom Shaman setup, we're also playing cards like Disc Commander that get us into our combo pieces. Swing of Memories can bring back Doom Shaman itself because it's considered a normal monster while in the graveyard. And Begone Knave is in this as well. It's just a way to make your opponent's game plan stall out. It has a lot of hilarious applications versus Gladiator Beasts specifically. Also, what is up with that guy's hand? Do you see it? I feel like I'm going crazy. It's it's definitely the wrong size, right? In the side deck, we have nothing. Why would we play any side deck cards? This deck is perfect as is. Here's hoping. Hello, I've posted this deck on the Pojo forums, but no one wants to reply. So I'm hoping you can help. Thanks in advance and have fun. Oh boy, are we going to have fun because this looks like the biggest piece of hot garbage I've ever seen in my life. So this is Calculator Ubel. So the concept of this deck is that the Ubel monsters just have extraordinarily high levels and paired with the Calculator who gains 300 attack for the combined levels of all face-up monsters on the field. You can get the Calculator's attack to Stratospheric Heights and I don't know if you can one-shot your opponent necessarily necessarily, but there are some cool things we can do here. So I guess let's do the card by card. Uh, we have a Dark Magician of Chaos, which thankfully is a good card in this deck. Then we have it followed by two of the worst cards in the deck, Doom Shaman. This card is awful. It's a Gemini monster. We could just end the discussion right there. But once per turn, you can special summon a fiend monster from either hand or graveyard, which in theory isn't terrible. If it wasn't a Gemini, then maybe this would be playable. We have three Mystic Tomato, which are more good cards, and three Phantom of Chaos as well. Sangan, Snipe Hunter, Spirit Reaper, Triple Calculator, since it's our main win condition. And then we have the Ubel. So the first Ubel cannot be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damages from battles involving this card. What's nice is we can summon this off Mystic Tomato at the very least, so we don't actually have to tribute two to summon this. Before damage calculation, when this face of attack position card is attacked by an opponent's monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. And then during your end phase, tribute another monster or destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, except by its own effect, its owner can special summon a Ubel Terror Incarnate from their hand deck or graveyard. So that's where the second form comes in and you can only summon this with you, Bell specifically. Can't be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damage involving it. Four damage calc when this face of attack vision card attacked by an opponent's monster. Inflict damage to your opponent and during your end phase destroy all other monsters on the field. When this face of card leaves the field, you can special summon a U Bell Ultimate Nightmare from your hand deck or graveyard. So thankfully, if you get to Terror Incarnate, it's actually not hard to get to the Ultimate Nightmare here. This is actually a level 12, so that puts Calculator up to, I believe, 4,000 attack. I don't know, it's a lot, but in any case, can only be special summoned from the third uh, U-Bell, or the second U-Bell, excuse me. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. You take no battle damage. At the end of the damage step, if this face-up attack position card battles an opponent's monster, inflict damage equal to that monster's attack to your opponent and destroy that monster. So that's the win condition, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is this easier than Venomanaga? Maybe. I guess we'll see. We also have now for the spell department two Fires of Doomsday, which give us two monsters on the field that we can only tribute if it is for a dark monster. Thankfully, Demox Dark, so that actually does have synergy there. Two Foolish Burial just to dump stuff to the grave. Giant Trunade, Heavy Storm, Reborn, MST, and Premature Burial. And then for the traps, three Generation Shift. Fire King players are going to know this card very well. Target a face of monster you control, destroy that target, then add a card with the same name from your deck to your hand. This card's good because it basically gets us to tear and card it immediately if we pop our own Ubel, and we're basically off to the races at that point. Three Metal Reflex Slime. I love this because it's level 10, so that means that Calculator immediately gets to 3,000 attack, plus its own level as well means it's 36, so that's just hilarious. Three Threatening Roar and a Torrential Tribute rounding out our main 40. Now, now, the side deck here is actually every card that this player took out of their deck to swap in some of the other arguably worse cards. It's hard to say. They were playing stuff like Fusilier. We have Marshmallow, Treeborn Frog, Monster Gate, Reasoning, and Avarice. And they decided to swap that out for the Fires of Doomsday, the Generation Shifts, the Metal Reflex Slimes, I think a second copy of Terror Incarnate. So I figured maybe over the course of an episode, we can try out both versions of the deck and see what's better. And then I decided to throw in a few other good traps because I wanted to have at least some good cards to play with. But holy shit, this is a mess. And uh, if we can kill Joseph with it, that would be a miracle. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. 
I'm just still demoralized after last episode, buddy. Uh, <laughs> you were, we were very you were close, so close to achieving greatness. Ah. We were so close. Uh, I, I had to do it another game. So even if I was close, I, I, I don't think that game three was going to happen because then you were going to get to go first and it was just going to not end. So... I'm, I'm still down in the dumps about that, but uh, another chance of redemption. Uh, I think this is like week seven or eight of being in the jank tank at this rate. And uh, boy, I got to say, buddy, this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Every time I see a four deck wheel, I go, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I think to myself, the chances of a mirror match are probably astronomically high. And uh, knowing our luck in trying to do everything we can to avoid it, we just seem to gravitate right back towards it, buddy. So we shall see. I guess the moment of truth will come upon us. Uh, I will go ahead and shout out the patron. It is Dorian Hancock. Thank you for the support. Got the hands up? I got it. All right. I'm going to go with even. It is odd. I held up three, the hundreds that I will be gaining off of each star. Oh, no. <laughs> You're on that day. I might be. I could be, you know. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, what other card would you be playing that has that ability? But I guess we'll see. All right. Good luck, buddy. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, stand by main. Sure. Let's get things off to the races with an allure of dark. That's fine. All right. We're going to banish a Ubel Terror Incarnate. There it is. All right. Next up is reinforcement of the army. Sure. I'm going to grab a gr an Armageddon Knight to hand. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for another allure of darkness. Sure. This seems like Teledad at this rate. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. Okay. Let's get rid of the Armageddon Knight. All right. I will normal summon a second Armageddon Knight. Sure. We'll activate the effect. All right. What are we sending? I am going to send a Ubel. Shocker. And yep. I will bring back the Ubel. <laughs> there it is. All right. You've got, uh, what is this? 10 stars and four. You've got 14 stars on your field. All right. Back to you, Buckaroo. Okay. I uh, don't know how we're killing that exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't forget, will... during uh, my end phase, I am going to have to tribute this Armageddon Knight in order to keep my Ubel on field. I see. Okay, sure. That is fine. Uh, then I will go to main one. Boy, this just looks like the best hand imaginable. I'm going to set four and pass the turn, buddy. Go ahead. Well, at least it's not a mirror. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. All good. Okay, I'm going to normal summon a dark greffer and with prio activate its effect. That is fine. Well, you have to discard for cost, sir. Okay, it's the ultimate nightmare himself. Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. All right, we're going to send a doom shaman to graveyard. Uh, then you we'll don't want to have that in your hand, buddy. We'll go to battle here. <laughs> Uh, that's just for 17, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take 17. Second main, I will, uh, proceed to end phase and tribute my Dark Greffer. Back to you, buddy. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw then. Uh, not looking great. Not looking great. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Stand by main. I'll keep doing All this. Good. Uh, I'm going to try and get the beats in. Let's normal summon the calculator. There he is. So this card is currently, uh, 3,600 attack. That is correct. Okay. Uh, he's quite large. Um, and I don't know what we're doing about it. Hmm. Uh, the summon of calculator is fine. All right, let's go to combat. I will try to get in. I will threatening roar before you get the chance to do so. Annoying. I'll proceed to the end phase. Let me see if Ubel is mandatory. During the end phase, tribute one other monster or destroy this card. Sounds mandatory to me. I'm just determining if I am allowed to choose to destroy the card. Oh, or if you have to sacrifice the calculator. It sounds like you get to pick what you w want to do. You make your choice when the effect resolves. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to end Ubel then. Um... You know what? Actually, that's terrible. Or, but then, or buddy, your calculator goes down to 600 attack. Yeah, I'm starting to see why this deck wasn't competitive. All right, let's <laughs> let's send the U bell. Uh, back to you. Okay. All right. Uh, we will draw. Standby main. Well, uh, uh, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, that's great news. Standby main. <laughs> This is a great game we have going on, isn't it? Well, depending on what you've got set, it might be over. I'm going to go for Swing of Memories targeting Doom Shaman. Uh, gross. Uh, that is fine by me. I will normal the Doom Shaman. Sure. Are you going to give it the ability? Yes. I will special back the U-Bell. Uh, thinking. Now, your effect activation was, was that with priority, sir? <laughs> yes. Okay. I just want to clarify just to make sure. So... In response, 
Uh, your Doom Shaman has not resolved yet, so you've not summoned this U-Bell. Uh, so I'm actually going to Torrential on the summon slash activation of the Doom Shaman. That is unfortunate. Okay, uh, to the graveyard goes the Calculator and the Doom Shaman. I see. So, uh, U-Bell will return, or you're doing this... Oh, even if the U-Bell returns, it doesn't matter, because I proceed to end step, and then it goes to the graveyard. Correct. That's exactly Sick. what's going to happen. All right, back to you. So in either case, it's 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 completely irrelevant. Okay, uh, we'll go to main phase one. I mean, <laughs> it's something, I guess. All right, I will activate Monster Reborn, and I'm going to target your... I guess I'm going to go after your Doom Shaman? Yeah, no response to this. Let me think if that's what I want. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, I'm just going to hit you for 24. That's fine. I'll take it. And then second main, I'm going to... Well, I'll just set a card and pass the turn. All right, stand by main. I'm going to activate Rhoda here. Sure. I'm going to grab Dark Greffer. That's fine. All right, we're going to activate Dark Greffer, specialing it by sending a Doom Shaman. I'm going to activate Silent Doom, targeting the Doom Ooh. Shaman. Sure, that's pretty good. And we will normal the Doom Shaman. Yeah, that's fine. I'll use it to get the U-Bell back. Sure. Battle phase, I will attack your monster with U-Bell. I see. Uh, so then I am going to be taking the damage here, correct? Wait, what oh, no, the it's fuck? It's when it's attacked. It's when it's attacked. This card's terrible! <laughs> I jumped it's through all of these buddy. hoops to summon this It's card. not relinquished, buddy. Oh my god, this is the worst card I've ever seen in my life. Now, you don't take any battle damage and it doesn't oh, die, so, so nothing so happens with you attacking. Fantastic. <laughs> well, now I don't have an out to the Doom Shaman. Uh, I guess I will proceed to main phase two. Sure. And then I will lose... <laughs> I'm going to lose everything. Uh, I'm going to declare Dark Greffer... And pitch Armageddon Knight. To dump? Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to send fucking Disc Commander. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good card anyway. We're just deck thinning. We're just deck thinning here. All right. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I guess I will lose the Doom Shaman. It doesn't matter. Yeah, at this point, I think it's pretty irrelevant for you. Uh, I'll draw. I mean, you know, fortunately... Oh, actually, that would kill your U-Bell, by the way, because when it leaves the field, you destroy all the monsters <gasps> summoned by its effect. Wait! So. <laughs> that's on purpose! I'll trigger the effect of U-Bell! Oh, no! What? <laughs> I'm getting... Uh, the synergies. They're causing... <laughs> We my brain to out. expand. We figured it out. I will summon you, Bell, Terror Incarnate, and destroy all other monsters on the field. Oh my God! Uh, only does it doing it is during the is this is technically still during the end phase, yep. correct? Yep. Okay, so everything dies. Oh. Uh, we this is like when I figured out what, how Limit Reverse triggers uh, Rise of the Snake Deity. <laughs> Continuing on with my turn, then uh, this changes things uh, all right so now we have to deal with this thing uh and then like this is one of the cards that has a win this leaves the field clause so that's quite <laughs> annoying and it could get from graveyard it can which is why it doesn't matter if you put him in there well what are we gonna do now okay so your field consists of a u bell Mm -hmm. I've been doing Jack All this entire game. Yeah, I have no idea what your deck is. The audience is probably screaming at me because I think I just made a realization for something. But um, shocking, I'm just going to pass. Got a back row. Another okay. thrilling um, turn. Yeah, so uh, during the end phase, destroy all their monsters on the field. That Has that effect resolved, sir? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to activate Fires of Doomsday. Sure. So I'm going to get two tokens. Yeah. Now I will draw. In main phase one, I am going to sacrifice my two tokens for my U-Bell Terror Incarnate. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting game now we have on our hands, Joseph. <laughs> hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Mine's going to trigger in the end phase, which is not very exciting because that means you're going to get your big guy first. And I don't know if that really matters necessarily because it's like, if you kill mine, then I'm just going to get mine out to the field. And then we're kind of just staring at each other doing nothing. So uh, with that being the case, I'm just going to go ahead and set a card, go to the end phase, blow up Terror Incarnate. All right, I'll bring out the ultimate nightmare. And you may proceed with your turn. 
<laughs> you fool. You absolute rube. You have no idea what's in store for you when I normal summon the calculator. Oh, fuck. That's a problem. <laughs> All right, I'll go to combat. I guess I will attack with ultimate nightmare. Okay, so what's going to happen here? So ultimate nightmare, you're going to inflict damage to me equal to the attack, which uh, is zero, but then my monster gets destroyed, correct? Mm -hmm. With that being the case, uh, he will die, and that will trigger his effect to summon my ultimate nightmare. From hand. All right, so ultimate nightmare is different than the others because if it battles an opponent's monster, then it inflicts damage. I see. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> It is not the same as the others. Uh, so I am going to draw for turn. And, you know, buddy, I'm kind of curious where this is going to go now with us just staring at each other here. Okay, well, I will go to battle phase and I will send my U-Bell into your U-Bell. Uh, okay. So do they both die? I believe so. Okay, so they're both going down. Uh, second main, I'm going to... Hmm, I think I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Well, fool, you stand no chance against my calculator. So what could you possibly do against two? All right, Seto Kaiba. Okay, so each of these are, what, 1,200? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, we're getting there, chat. We are getting there. 3,900 remains. One step at a time. Uh, cool. I will normal summon Mystic Tomato. <laughs> Shit, that's got a little too much. Uh, we'll try to hit. I've only got two words to say to you, Alex. Be gone, knave. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So you're going to take two. This bounces my tomato back to my hand. That's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> um, Second main, I guess I'm just passing the turn, buddy. Go ahead. All right. Stand by main. Let's go to battle. I'm getting in for six. Sure. Get your six. That's fine. And Bounce back him back to, to hand. hand. <laughs> you want to resummon him? Not really. I'm going to activate foolish <laughs> burial here. Sure. Really that's have fine. Too much left of foolish. I'm going to send a copy of uh, disc commander. We're just another gonna... disc oh. commander. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, you're good to go. All right. Uh, we're trying. Uh, main one is not looking good. Uh, I will. I know you have calculator. If I attack with tomato, am I winning this race if I attack with tomato and we're just bouncing back and forth? <laughs> what is this? Are. So 14 times four is 56. Uh, that's four turns and calculator is less. So I'm going to go for it. Normal summon the tomato. Yep. I'll take the 14. <laughs> attack for 14, right, bounces to there, hand. Maeve. I'll set a card and throw it to you. Stand by main. All good. Wah. Sure. Attack. I will take six. That's All fine. Right, well, you know. Second main. I'll set one. <laughs> you are good to go. At least you have back row. All right, I'm going to draw. Buddy, I will normal summon my calculator. Yeah. Oh. I will go to battle. I see what's happening here. Uh, yep. Anything on attack declaration? Got nothing on attack deck. I will activate metal reflect slime. No response. I will activate a second metal oh, reflect come slime. On. <laughs> What is wrong with you? How dare you do this to me? I came here to have fun, play some interesting Yu-Gi-Oh, and you just want to play no skill trap cards. Well, what's wrong with me? You're the one who's imitating me, copying my deck. I'm whoa, in the whoa, jank whoa. tank, whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm the one who has everything on the line here. You're playing this. I mean, uh, I don't know, buddy. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's let's start things off with a little allure of darkness, huh? Sure, that's fine. You're also playing the much better version of this deck, I feel. But, you know, I won the first game, so maybe that's not true. I that's fine. Say, we shall see. Uh, all right. I'm going to go for a Dark Greffer. Um, sending a U-Bell. Oh, good. I'm going to trigger Dark Greffer, sending a Disc Commander to get a Doom Shaman into the graveyard. And sure. Now I have everything I need. Let's just draw some Reborns. All right. Uh... I'll use my normal on this, and you are good to go. Okay, we're going to draw for turn. Uh, let's go to main one. I'm going to activate reasoning. Oh, I get it. Hmm. 
Well, Yubel's a 10, and that's what I'm the most scared of. You can't summon a Terra Incarnate or an Ultimate Nightmare. Correct. Just <clears> skips <throat> over him. Let's go for a 10. Gonna go for 10. Let's see if he is correct. Oh, there goes that. Uh, oh, even better. It's the worst card that I did not want to see. Excellent. Fantastic. So we're going to bring out the calculator. No problem with that. Uh, so then... Um, <laughs> what do we want to do? I'm going to sack off the calculator for a Doom Shaman of my own. Oh, you are playing this card. Sure. And we'll hit over the Greffer for the seven. I'll take the seven. And then second main, I'm just going to set one and throw it to you. All right. I will draw for turn. Stand by me. All good. we will go Rhoda here. Sure. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, let's grab... You've already got everything you need. Yeah, the problem is I don't know how I'm outing the Doom Shaman. <laughs> Let's just do this. Uh, back to you, buddy. Walling up. All right, I'll draw. Um, oh, actually, excuse me. In the end phase, I wanted to activate the Spires of Doom. Yeah, 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 so I'm yeah. going to do, do, do that. Do your worst. Uh, yeah, so we're going to bring out the boys eventually here. Uh, and then I'm going to think... How do I want to do this? Kind of like this play, if I'm being honest. So let's give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to sack off the tokens for Dark Magician of Chaos. Whoa, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, this is a real card. Uh, I'm going to target the monster reborn the I milled fuck? off Yo, the reason. Dude, come on. <laughs> so fair. we're going to get that back. Uh, I'm going to reborn. Uh, I, you got that juicy disc commander in your graveyard. I'm mm. liking that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring him back. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, we'll draw two off of the effect. Yep. Oh, even better. Uh, let's go ahead and fire reasoning. Ten, I suppose. Ten? Okay. Uh, now I'd like to see calculator. Uh, snipe hunter. Okay, sure. You are playing uh, far too many good cards for my taste. Oh, sh oh, shut up! You've got, like, Armageddon Knight, Greffer, Allure, whatever. Okay, we're firing snipe. We're gonna go ahead and go after one of your sets here. I'm gonna go after this one. I will simply cause you to miss four times. See? There's number one. Fuck. Alright, what's... Are we going again? Same God, target. You have so many bricks in hand. <laughs> go okay, we got one. We got it's one. What is it? Sangan. Okay, you get to search here. I don't know what I fucking want. I can't get calculator. It's got a question mark. <laughs> I guess I'm getting Armageddon Knight. Uh, do I want to go three for three? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, not like you were using those anyway. <laughs> get Fuck! <absolutely. laughs> Shit. Um, I kind of like the last card in my hand, so I don't think I want to lose it to Snipe Hunter here. Uh, so instead, I will go to battle. I don't know what else you're really setting. You could just be walling up in all honesty. Uh, I'll go demock into it. It's disc commander. Okay. Uh, so that's not coming back. And then we'll go for 15 and 24 here. Uh, I guess it's cool that doom shaman can revive snipe hunter, uh, random synergy, uh, but I'll pass. Go ahead. You could revive my Sangan. That would be kind of sick. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> could be anything. Could be anything. All right. Back to you. Okay, so the card in hand was a true nade. Well, uh, be gone, Dave. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, sure. Uh, let's go. Uh, this is lethal on board, depending on what else you have set. I can't think of anything, so I'm just going to go to battle. I'll hit with Demok. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, we're out of the tank tank. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, how could this happen? It's actually it only easy took, to see how this happened. <laughs> it only took a fucking U-Bell mirror match of all things. I'm actually really excited that we had this mirror match, and I'm excited we had radically different decks, too. Like, we are Yeah, so, way okay. Different. Where did you find this deck? Because the version that I saw was the one in the Pojo article that we initially saw. So did you find a different version of it, or how did this come across? Yeah, so in uh, June of 2008, Jerome McHale wrote an article for Metagame in which he describes a hypothetical calculator Ubel deck that could beat, he claimed, Dark Arm Dragon, Gladiator Beast, and Light Sword. <laughs> and okay. it was this. It was a very consistent way to get Ubel onto the field, but uh, against anyone who is willing to pass, it's pretty bad. Um, as you saw, I mean, I'm playing like three traps and it's all be gone, Knave, which is being played exclusively because of how broken it is against gladiator beasts. Where, yours looks a lot more competent. I'm looking at Demok and thinking, oh yeah, that would have been a good idea. So this list, and first of all, when you're talking about like competent, you're playing like crush card and stuff. I no, there's no way that my yeah. list is more competent than yours. So my list was from a Pojo article and uh, the initial version of this deck. So it actually was one of those like deck texts where someone like put the 
deck up and then did like minus three copies of this card and they took out like 10 or 12 cards and put in 10 or 12 different ones oh so it's funny because initially the version you saw of the deck in game one wasn't playing the reasonings that was part of the first iteration of the deck so i wanted to pilot the second iteration of the deck which was playing generation shift to manually trigger the u-bell itself to be able to get out your uh, u-bell terror oh incarnate and a bunch of other just it was playing the fires of doomsday as well which you got to see here which surprisingly that's actually a, came up um, it, i'm pretty Not impressed by that kind of yeah like just being able to drop d mock is pretty nice but also just the fact you can tribute for terror incarnate which i completely forgot you can just summon because it just has the clause of special summoning but you can Wait, just no, drop can. it as a two tribute you can yeah normal terror incarnate sorry this is the first line of text on terror incarnate well we fucked this game up then oh buddy. did we really no. oh my god no not like this Fuck. not like this oh my god all right well Well, Joseph, here we are in uh, game one of a series that never happened prior to this, and uh, we are going to be uh, shouting out a patron, and I'm going to go for rock, paper, scissors. Let's see. Oh, look, you won the rock, paper, scissors. Who knew you would pick paper? <laughs> I got to tell you, Alex, I am I'm feeling a little bit like Gage right now. I'm ready for the 4 -0. <laughs> Oh god. All right, uh time for me to uh ooh, wow, this is the best hand I've had yet. Okay. All right, I'm going like to activate hear that. Rota. I'm going to go sure. get a uh, Greffer. That's fine. All right. We're going to normal Greffer. Uh, I'm going to trigger the effect. I'm going to send Disc Commander for cost and Doom Shaman for effect. I'm going to sure. set two and pass it back. Ooh, someone has revival. Hey, okay, whoa, whoa, I'll draw. Whoa, could be anything. Stand by main. Uh, let's just get him out. I'm going to heavy storm. Uh, I will limit reverse. Ah, uh, this doesn't do what I want. This doesn't work how you think it does. Right, yes, well, the because trigger, unfortunately, the trigger effect will never have an opportunity to trigger, which is very stupid. I think that's like one of the dumbest things in Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, main one still here. Uh, my hand's not looking too great, so I'm just going to set a pair and throw it over to you. All right, stand by main. Uh, I'm going to activate Dark Refer again. We're going to send a... You know what? Fuck you, Bell. <laughs> I'm going to send a Doom Shaman. Sure. Uh, swing of memories. I'm going to get a Doom Shaman. Ooh. Uh, that is fine. You don't have any fiends besides the ultimate nightmare. Wait, Doom Shaman isn't even a fiend. I was sending the Doom Shaman to revive with Doom Shaman. I thought it was Giga Plant. That would, that would have been sick. Uh, would you like to change your choice then? Yeah, I'll just send you Bell. Yeah, what if I send Sangan? Okay. Oh, it's you, Bell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then would you like to do anything with Pryo? Yeah, I'll normal Doom Shaman. Okay. Uh, and then I will Torrential. Okay. Well, you know, just skip some steps here anyway. <laughs> All right, back to you. Okay. Now, if I can draw something playable, that would be nice. I don't think that's it. Uh, I will Foolish Burial, I guess. Sure. I will dump my own copy of you bell yeah that's fine probably the call it's not great yeah i guess and throw it to you stand by oh the best card in my deck i'll normal dark greffer sure combat take the 17. second main i'm gonna trigger dark greffer there goes the U-Bell, sure. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll send another disc commander uh, back to you. All right, we'll draw. Oh, that's uh, kind of cool. Right on time, buddy. Thanks for sending the disc commander to my grave. I had two engrave <laughs> anyway. Go ahead. Yeah, you had two engrave anyway. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the target. I could bring back my own U-Bell, but like, I don't really want to, honestly. I'd kind of rather just draw a card. So I'm going to do that. Uh, trigger disc commander. I'll draw two. Mm -hmm. Now I'm kind of wishing that I did uh i will premature burial i'm gonna target you bell oh God. <laughs> yeah then i'm gonna normal summon the calculator oh my god yep go to battle so this calculator is 39 so 39 to your 17 so you're gonna take 22 all right and then second main, I'll set one and end phase. I will sack off this disc commander back to your graveyard. Go, uh, this premature burial was on my uh, U-Bell and you may go. Oh, can we get something? <gasps> I don't think that does anything. Shit, it doesn't. Um, 
I will go to battle. I will hit for... Actually, I'm going to normal summon Phantom of Chaos, then go to battle. It's more stars. <laughs> so oh, this it is, what, 36? Is. Uh, so it's 4,800, 4, correct? 4,800, I'll take. Oh my God. All right, and then end phase, I will get rid of the Phantom of Chaos. Go ahead. Sure. I can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw. Oh my god, that's that's really bad, actually. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I don't have any way to do this. Okay. Uh, here's the move. I'm gonna go battle. I'm gonna hit your set. It's just a guy. It's just a silly old boy. Armageddon Knight. Okay. Second main. I'm going to true nade back the premature to my hand. <laughs> Sure. Oh, and you then, couldn't have done uh, this main phase because you don't have another attacker? I don't have another attacker. Uh, I will go to end phase. I actually think I'm just going to let you bell go this time. So go ahead. Yes. Stand by main. Normal Armageddon Knight. Attack the calculator. <laughs> yes. I have a threatening roar for you, fool. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm dead. <laughs> the biggest bane of your life! <laughs> I'm dead to the premature. I will draw premature burial back to you, Bell. <laughs> I really am feeling like Gage. I'm taking this 3 0. <laughs> oh my god. How could this happen? Okay. Okay. So at least that time I actually won the 2 0 and cheated my way in the other one. So yeah, it yeah. was a 3 0, but now that was an actual 2 0. So I have actually honorarily won my way out of the jank tank, and the comments are still going to rage that I sacked for a U Bell that I wasn't allowed to. Um, This was an experience, don't you think, buddy? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's an experience I'd like to repeat, but it was an experience. Oh my God. You know. That's how I felt last episode, buddy, with Venomenog. <laughs> it's a. um. <laughs> It's a cool show off of some neat cards. Like I think Doom Shaman is really unexplored. I think it's a really sick I agree. card. It shocks yeah. me that Swing of Memories is legal in so many formats that Doom Shaman is. And uh, the Calculator is a sick card. Obviously, it was the card that won you that last game. Ubel is even an interesting one. It had a pretty extended stint of playability in Dual Links uh, because of some skills that enabled it. Um, oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, in fact, Ubel the character has a skill that just pops Ubel in hand. <laughs> or, uh, oh, perfect. That's exactly what you wanted to do. <laughs> it adds Ubel to hand, and then you can pop it with like a Fire King Island. Um, wow. It, and Terra Incarnate is just a an every turn board wipe, which is a decent defensive tool. Uh, and I'm glad yeah. we got to see all of these cards represented. Was not expecting the mirror, and it went just about as well as no. I had hoped. <laughs> Every time, buddy, every time we think, oh, it's not going to be a mirror. And Okay, now, was it your first pick it, is the it question. It was my first pick. I said I have to Hey, pick. it was my first pick, too. <laughs> Perfect. I was rolling for this I, or spaceships. I thought you were going to go for the Gaia deck, oh, in all honesty. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? It's a hero. You like heroes, remember? I like winning, too. <laughs> Despite what it's this fair. episode may it's lead fair. you to believe, I like winning. Yeah, it seemed like out of all, we've played some jank. Like, yeah. we've played some real jank. This actually seemed, like, somewhat competent. And I think yeah. it was neat that we got to see your version playing Armageddon Knights, Dark Refers, Allure of Darknesses, mine playing Fires of Doomsday, Generation Shift, Metal Reflex Slime, and uh, seeing which one actually came out on top after it all. <laughs> it's weird because, like, <laughs> if some of the formats that no one played because Dark Arm Dragon was so good were more explored. I could see this yeah. like maybe being a rogue option in some of those formats. Like the Metal Reflex line matches up really poorly against Gladiator Beasts, but there's times that Gladiator Beasts aren't dominant yet and Dad is like around that this might actually right. do something. Unfortunately, no one wants to play that shit because those formats are terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, this, this sort of in a way reminds me of like the Gren Maju equivalent of this format, mm -hmm. right? Your whole game plan is to just get a big idiot that can just kill your opponent, and you play a bunch of cards that are just, uh, you know, in theory, teched out to try to beat the other matchups of the time. Yep. And you're playing other stuff, so you just don't die as well. Uh, Threatening Roar is actually kind of gross in my deck because, like, paired with, like, well, in the mirror match specifically, because the fact that, like, it just forces, like, your activation to nuke all your cards or it forces, like, a U-Bell to trigger at all, um, yeah, it's like not bad. But again, that was more like for glads than anything else, I think. <laughs> so guys, that wraps it up for another episode of the History of Jank. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons as always. So big shouts to Shout1317, Moto Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim Zuzur X3, Ian Musaik, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man Hoban, Sacred Guy, Ole, Yusuf Hassan 05, Sylvia Wilds, Colt T, Draconic, Rockside, Dollar Up, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Elson, Jordan Coons, Kelvin, Iron Blazing, Purace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, MBT Play, Medulce, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Chat God, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir Carlos, 
Alice DT. Final Daddy Ashlyn Jensen, give me Speed Warrior, give me Death. Guys, please read your cards. Apparently, I still can't do that. TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Matthew Brady, Ash Blossom, Toe Sniffer, Max, Tom Russell, Band Snatch Shield for Progression 2021, Chipotle Rice, Wild Yawn, I think of MBT in the shower, Super Dark Edge, and Kanye's famous album, MBT DTF. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.